The Venusis is one of the biggest African cichlid and in this video I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this fish before you decide to buy one of these gorgeous fish. So the Venustus. The scientific name of this fish is the Nimbochromus venustus, also known as the giraffe cichlid. They are a haplochromon and they originate from Lake Malawi in Southeast Africa. This fish is rarely available as wild caught and if they are, they are really really expensive. So if you see one then 100% it's tank raised and tank bred as well. This fish is one of the biggest African cichlids. It can get 10 to 11 inches. The colors on the fish is greenish yellow main body color, but more to the yellow side. There's gonna be some large black spots on their body, hence why they call them a giraffe cichlid. The males and females, when they are juveniles, they are all gonna look the same. The yellow fish with the black spots. As the males mature, they are gonna get a nice bright blue face. The yellow on the fish is gonna become much more intense than the females. And then when the males get into the breathing dress, which mainly means when they get in the mood to spawn, they are gonna almost completely lose their spots and completely look yellow with the blue face. And when the deed is done, they are gonna get back to their original form with the black spots. Males are going to be typically 20 to 30% larger than the females. And the females gonna stay exactly how they were as juveniles for their entire life. The good thing about Venustus is that the males and the females are both beautiful fish. Of course, the males are nicer because they have the blue face and the bright yellow, but the female Venustus is still a gorgeous fish. Venustus are carnivores, so they like a meaty high protein diet. You can get pretty much any cichlid pellet that is prepared for cichlids that usually gonna be high in protein. And I have not found the Venustus being picky at all as far as what they eat. So you should not have trouble getting them to eat anything really. And I would definitely go for a high protein cichlid pellet and they will do really well on that. Like I said, I've never had a problem with my Venustus eating anything. I don't care what it is, he even ate veggies with my Imbunas. But you want to make sure that you're giving them good quality food. If you want, you can also give them bloodworms as a treat once a week or so. As far as water parameters go, just like any other Malawan cichlid, 78 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit is going to keep this fish so, so happy. They like a pH of 8 to 8.5. If you get it in that range, they are going to be absolutely perfect. And oh yeah, they like hardy water as well. They are actually relatively simply to keep. If you are not familiar with African cichlids, if you are new to them, you will be surprised to hear that African cichlids are maternal mouth breeders. What this means is that a female during the spawning process is going to pick up the eggs in her mouth and house them in there for the period of 18 to 20 days, which is the entire pregnancy. She will release them when they are fully free swimming fry. So if you didn't know that about African cichlids, it's absolutely fascinating to watch, really guys. Venustus are no different, they are maternal mouth breeders. It's so amazing to watch that. So it is a risk, but they will mix together. My fish tank is proof positive of that, but if you want to play it safe, if you want to go to the easiest route, just keep them with other haps and peacocks and they will be fine. The biggest thing to watch is the size of the tank mates that you put them with. If you put a fish in that can fit in your Venustus mouth, I promise you guys they will end up in there. 
So you need to be careful with that. If you are going to add a fish in your fish tank that already has a Venustus in it, make sure that they are a minimum of half the size of your Venustus. Tankmates for the Venustus is really simple. They need to be with other African cichlids, preferably haps or peacocks. Haps and peacocks, you can also do that. Now, I have successfully mixed them with mbonas. There are tons of people out there that will argue that you can't do that. It's totally up to you guys whether you choose to take that risk or not. It is a risk for a lot of reasons. It's risky for the Venustus because the Mbunas tend to have a vicious side to them, but it is also risky to the Mbunas because the Venustus mouth is a lot bigger than you think it is. When it comes to tank size for a Venustus, this is up for a debate because some people will tell you out there that you have to have a minimum of a fish tank of 125 gallons. For me, I will tell you guys that you don't put a Venustus in a fish tank smaller than a 75 gallon. But I would love to see you put them in something way, way bigger, of course. Like I always say, the bigger is always better. They get big and they get big really, really fast. I would love to see you put them in a 125 or larger. As far as the Venusis temperament goes, they are African cichlids, which means they are territorial and they are on the aggressive side. So you need to be careful with that. Do your research before you buy one of these fish. If you're just getting into them, there is tons of resources out there on African cichlid aggression. Do your research and find out how you work with that to be able to accept this fish so that they are not gonna kill each other all the time. It's not that difficult to do. This African cichlid game certainly is on the crap shoot and you will never really know what fish are gonna work with what. But Venustus with their size, the fact that they get so huge and they do have that tendency to be aggressive and territorial. You will definitely want to be careful with it. I don't want to scare you though like I said these are one of the coolest fish you can ever have but you just need to be careful with them which is the same thing that I'm gonna tell you about any other African cichlid out there so be careful who you put with them be careful of the way you set up your tank be mindful of all that and your Venustus will be fine so if you are in the market with that and you thought of getting a Venustus to add to your fish tank I hope I gave you a lot of information in this video. He's one of my favorites for sure. And if you're looking for a cool fish to add to your tank with personality and that's gonna get really big and become more than just a random fish, but become a real pet, I would absolutely recommend to you guys the Venistus Nimbochromus. Thank you guys for listening. I hope I will see you all in the next video, bye, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more please, let's go, bye.